guys, today we'll be crocheting this really cute mesh dot neck sweater. For this tutorial, we would need to make two panels, the front and the back panel. In order to do that, we need to take our measurements. I'm going to be leaving a diagram on the screen showing you how to take your full bust measurement. So once you've done that, you would add 6 inches to whatever figure that you got. Then divide by 2. So mine is 36. 36 plus 6 is 42. So 42 divided by 2 is 21. Now I know that my front and back panel should be 21 inches wide. So now to start off the top, make a slip knot. Then you're going to chain the total number of chains that measures up to the figure that you got. So mine measures up to 21 inches. I'm going to make a total number of chains that measure up to 21 inches. Another important thing to note is that whatever number of chains you make should bring the multiple of 3 plus 1. So I'm done with my chains and I did a total of 109 chains. Now you're going to hold on to the last chain that you made and chain 7 more extra. So once you've done that, yarn over. You're going to skip the 7 chains we just made. And go into the next chain that's the chain i said you should hold on to and make a double crochet so yarn over again pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops chain up two now we're going to skip two chains one two and go into the next with a double crochet chain up two keep two chains go into the next with a double crochet and chain up two now skip two chains and go into the next with a double crochet chain up two so you're going to repeat this till you get to the very last chain on the row So by the time you're done repeating the pattern, you should have one chain remaining. So now we're just going to make one double crochet into this chain. And that's it for row one. For row two, chain up five. And turn your work. So you're going to skip these two stitches here and go into the chain space with a double crochet. Chain up two, skip this stitch and go into the chain space with a double crochet. Chain up two, skip the next stitch, go into the chain space with a double crochet. Chain up two, skip this stitch and go into the chain space with the double crochet. Chain up two. Chain up two. Skip here and go into here with the double crochet. So you're going to repeat this till you get to the very last chain space. I just want to show you guys how to finish up row 2. So I've made the chain 2 here. I'm going to go into the last chain space and make a double crochet. Now for row 3, chain up 5. Turn your work. You're going to skip this stitch here and go into the first chain space with a double crochet. Chain up 2. 
Now we're repeating the mesh pattern that we did for row 2. We should do make one double crochet in the next chain space, chain 2, one double crochet in the next chain space, chain 2, one double crochet in the next chain space chain two so repeat that so you get to the very last chain space for row three to finish up row three make a double crochet into the last chain space if you haven't done that already so for row four chain up five and turn your work we're going to skip this stitch and walk into the chain space now make one double crochet into the chain space chain up two so now from here we would repeat the mesh pattern so we get to the very last chain space so i'm at the last chain space i'm going to make a double crochet in here and that's it for row four so you're going to repeat from row three to four till you get your desired measurement you can either place this on your body as you work or you take your measurements from your shoulder to where you want your top to stop so i'm aiming for a cropped sweater so mine is not going to be very very long i'll do mine off camera and tell you how many rows i did and give you guys my measurements so i'm done i did a total of 29 rows and this measures up to 14 inches I'm okay with this because I'm going for a cropped look. So now I'm going to finish up my work. Chain up one and cut. So you're going to go ahead and make another panel exactly like this. We're now going to attach both panels together. So now we're going to start by making the neckline first. And for this tutorial, we're making a total neck for the neckline so the space in the middle you give for your neckline shouldn't be that much but if you don't want to make this into a turtle neck you just want to make it like maybe into a normal top or a off shoulder top you can still do so just place it around your neck and determine how wide or how small you want it to be so i'm going to place mine on my neck now and i'll tell you my measurements so I've mapped out where I want my neckline to start and to end and it measures 9 inches so I'm okay with this measurement you can make yours bigger you can make yours smaller if you want your total neck to be a bit tight you can downsize to 8 inches number of stitches you have on this side should be the same number of stitches that you have on this side so basically where you map out should be the middle of your top now let's attach the neckline insert your hook into the very first stitch here which is this double crochet i have the chain five as the first stitch here so i'm going to skip two chains and go into the third chain now attach your yarn And chain up one so we are going to go into the next stitch which is this chain here and into the next stitch on this other side now we we'll go into the next stitch on this panel and into the next stitch on the other panel And make a slip stitch now insert your hook into the next stitch on this panel and into the next stitch on the other panel and make a slip stitch so just repeat that so you get to where you placed your stitch marker or where you mapped out for the beginning of your neckline now I'm going to make my last slip stitch into the stitch that I placed my stitch marker. Chain up one and cut. 
So repeat the same thing you did here for this other side as well. So I'm done attaching both sides of the neckline. The next thing to do is to make the armhole. Now in making your armhole, the things to consider is your size, what size you're making this for, and how wide you want your sleeves to be. So for me, I want to leave a total of seven inches for my ample and mind you i'm making this for a size large if you're a size small you can leave six inches if you're an extra extra large you can leave eight inches from here to here is seven inches i'm going to place a stitch marker here now for the other panel leave the same amount of rows and place your stitch marker so i already placed my stitch marker on both panels and I did the same for this side as well. I placed my stitch marker on the 14th row on each side. And please note the total number of rows you left for this side should be the total number of rows you leave for this side as well. Now let's attach from here to here to create the ample. So now we are going to be attaching from bottom to top. Now insert your hook into here the bottom and we're going to look for the bottom for this side as well because we have the chain 5 stitch here so skip 2 chains and go into the third chain with your hook now attach your yarn and chain up 1 so now we're going to be slip stitching randomly so we get to we have a place our stitch marker so what i like to do is to place at least two slip stitches in each row as i go so make sure that when you're attaching both panels together you're attaching the corresponding rows for each panel together for example i would attach this second row here to the second row on this panel once you attach the second row to the third row you've messed up your work just keep slip stitching randomly to you get to where you placed your stitch marker and remember in this chain five spaces that three chains actually counts as your double crochet for this chain five and the remaining two chains counts as your chain space so try not to walk into the last two chains. So I'm going to continue this off camera. So I actually thought I was filming and I wasn't. So what I did was that I made my slip stitches like what to where I placed my stitch marker then I chained up one and cut like we did for this side go ahead and do the same thing you did for this side for this other side as well now we are going to make the sleeves so I've made one of my sleeves already this is how it looks so first things first, you have to turn your work to the front. This side that you made your slip stitches, you automatically become the back of the top. So turn this to the front. So this is how it looks at the front. To make the sleeve, you're going to look for the last slip stitch you made when you were attaching the sides of your top. So even though you did this with a darning needle, you would still find like a small loop here where you can insert your hook like so and attach your yarn. Then chain up two. In that same slip stitch, we are going to make one double crochet. and chain up two so this is the last row i did my slip stitches so i'm going to skip this row and go into the next row by the side and make a double crochet chain up two 
and go into the next row. Make a double crochet. Chain up two. Go into the next row. Make a double crochet. Chain up two. Go into the next row and make a double crochet. So you're going to repeat this till you get to your starting chain. So I've worked my way till I got to the very last row for the side and chained up two. So what we'll do now is to stitch into the very first double crochet that we made. So skip this chain two here and go into this double crochet stitch and make a slip stitch. So now you're going to turn your work. To the next chain space, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through. Then yarn over, pull through two loops to make a single crochet. Then chain up four. And from here, we're going to continue the mesh pattern. So repeat this mesh pattern till you get to your starting chain. So I'm at the very last chain space here. Chain up two and make a slip stitch in the third chain of your starting chain. So from here onwards, we're going to repeat row two so this is as long as you want it to be. I actually did a total of 40 rows and my sleeves measures 20 inches. So I'm going to do this one more time in case you didn't get it the first time. Once you've made your slip stitch, turn your work to the other side and go into the chain space and make a single crochet. Chain up four. and into the next chain space make a double crochet chain two like normal now you repeat the match pattern which is one double crochet chain two so you get to the very last chain space here So now make a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain. So repeat row two till this is as long as you want. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side as well. Like what I did here is what I did on this side so once you're done with one sleeve repeat the same thing that you did on the other side as well and make sure you make the same amount of rows that you made for the first sleeve for the second sleeve so i'll do mine off camera and we'll come back and make the turtleneck so i'm done with the sleeves so now we're going to make the turtleneck so what you're going to do is to attach your yarn in any of those chain spaces. You can do this anywhere you want. So I'm going to attach mine from the last chain space here. Then chain up five. Once you've done that, you're going to Continue the mesh pattern around. There's one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, chain two. So you're going to repeat the mesh pattern around till you get to the last chain space on this side. So now I'm at the very last chain space for the side.
Now we are going to slip stitch into the top chain of our starting chain. So from here onwards, we're going to start working in the rounds like we did for the sleeves till so we are comfortable with the length of the turtleneck. You can wear this as you walk to know when you should stop making more rows. So now you're going to turn your work like normal and make a single crochet into this chain space. Chain up four and make your match stitch around till you get to your starting chain. So I'm back to the starting chain. I'm going to chain up two and make a slip stitch in the third chain of our starting chain. So just repeat row two till you're comfortable with the length of the turtleneck. I'll do more rows and tell you how many rows I did for my turtleneck. So I'm done with my turtleneck. I did a total of four rows. And this is okay for me. I would really advise that you wear this as you walk to determine how long you want your turtleneck area to be. Now I'm going to chain up one and cut. So guys, I want to add a border on top. At the bottom of the top and on the bottom of the sleeves as well this is optional you can decide to not do this next step so to do this insert your hook in any chain space I kind of like working by this side and chain up one so now you're going to make three single crochet in each chain space so do this around till you get to the very last chain space so now slip stitch into the first single crochet you made chain up one and cut so I'm going to do the exact same thing I did here for my sleeves and for the bottom of the top as well it's the same method just attach your yarn and make three single crochet in each chain space till you get to the very last chain space then you make a slip stitch just like we did for here so I'll do mine hide my loose end and come back and show you guys how this looks so I'm done making the border of my top so now we've come to the end of this tutorial thank you for sticking with me to this point please like and subscribe to my channel I look forward to always always seeing pictures of your work so you can send me pictures of your work in any of my social media platform it will really make my day now bye and see you guys in another tutorial i hope you guys loved this video if you did leave a comment in the comment section bye